please welcome the ace of cakes and my children's personal hero, Duff Goldman. Hey, how's it going? Duff, I'm so excited to tell you that the other night I came home with two cookbooks because this is cookbook club and I'm mm -hmm. a big cookbook uh, junkie. And so I brought out two cookbooks and I was like, okay, so we're gonna make like a savory meal and then a dessert. <laughs> and the only thing she wanted to do, of course, was everything out of your book and nothing to do with the cheeseburgers I was trying to get us to make. Now, I'm so excited because I must say, when you're doing Cake Week and you get to work with Duff, I mean, <laughs> come on. What are we making today that we can all be the heroes to our kids? <laughs> so, uh, so this is a really fun recipe. Now, this is adapted from a cookies and cream cupcake that's in uh, Super Good Bacon for Kids. And the recipe was actually inspired by one of the kids on Kids Baking Championship. Uh -huh. She made a cupcake and made a graham cracker crust. And I'd never seen a cupcake with a cookie crust before. And I was like, that's genius. So we took these peppermint cookies. They're like peppermint Oreos, basically. You can get them anywhere. Uh, you just add some butter and salt, and then you, you press it into the cupcake liners mm -hmm. and just kind of dump it in there, right? Just press the cookies down so they're nice and nice and tightly packed. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna stick this in the oven only for like five minutes or so. It's really fast. Okay. Uh, you wanna bake these off at 325. All right, now um, take like your chocolate cake batter. Now this is the one from the book. It's got a little bit of butter, a little bit of oil uh, and buttermilk. So now we're gonna fill the cupcakes. Okay. So get some chocolate batter. I have a little ice cream scoop. Let me show you how to do this with tablespoons. You know, get your tablespoon and then take the second one and you just slide it in there. So if you right. don't have a fancy cupcake measurer, just use tablespoons. I don't, oh, there's the kitchen cat. There's okay. a kitchen cat? Yeah, Arthur. I call him the kitchen cat because he often coos and purrs when yummy, delicious things are taking place. <laughs> you know, when uh, when I first started Charm City Cakes, I uh, I couldn't afford like a place to live. So I, I lived above the bakery. I had like a little apartment up there. Really? And I had a cat and her name was Margo. And uh, it was weird because for some reason at five o'clock every day, she would come downstairs and we called her five o'clock Margo. Cause like, it was like at five o'clock, it was like, Oh, five o'clock Margo. And she would come downstairs, say hi to everybody and then go back upstairs. All right. So we're going to bake these off, uh, for, um, I don't know, 19, 20 minutes or so. At what temp? Same 325. Got it. I love hearing that you were economically challenged, had to live in the place above your bakery because you become such an empire. And I think it's really good for aspiring chefs to hear that story because it's incredible what you've built your life into. Yeah, you know, owning a business is, I, personally, I think it's, it's one of the most wonderful and terrifying things ever. Wow, I have like, you know, 30 employees and, you know, uh, like all these customers that are going to be getting wedding cakes this weekend. But it's also one of the best feelings in the world that like on Friday, when you're looking at all the cakes you made that week and they're all there and everything is ready to go for Saturday. And you're like, look at our body of work. This is great. Yeah, I bet you get some crazy ladies uh, on the precipice of their wedding, by the way. Yeah. Okay, now Duff, <laughs> Guide me through piping. Should I start around the edges or in the center and build out? Yeah, so start in the center and then build out. Oh my God. You've done this before. Look at that, it's perfect. It's literally perfect. Uh, Look at that. I, thanks guys, thank you so much. <laughs> and then. Oh yeah, I see what you're doing. Okay, right? we're going like. 1980s Wolfgang Puck on this piece, I see. <laughs> really? Really, Chef? 1980s? I mean, you remember desserts in the 80s and what they look like. My idea of like desserts in the 80s was like McDonald's apple pie. By the way, <laughs> and they've changed that recipe and I am peeved. 
Yeah, because they the thing I my first job was at McDonald's. We used to deep fry the pies. Yeah. And that's why they were so delicious. Yeah. Now they're baked. I couldn't agree more. Put that <laughs> apple fry in that hot oil. It had like yeah. bubbles in the dough. It's wrong. Yeah. It's, it's delicious. Wrong. All right. Oh. You want to oh. have some fun? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 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 I feel like I, I I feel like I I feel like you just really got some frustration out there. <laughs> True. You, <laughs> and now you can sprinkle. Yeah. This looks so pretty. I'm so excited. My kids are gonna freak so out. So now what you can do, so if you want to take some of the cookie crumbs that don't have any of the butter. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I and see. And so you it. have cookie crumbs. On the sides. Uh huh. I love it. This is joyful. Wait, I'm getting word that there's a surprise. Is this true? <laughs> oh my surprise! Gosh. Ah! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! There's newspapers everywhere. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen. You've got like a blouse that's just like mine and the backdrop. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. Thank you so much, Doug. You are welcome. Thanks for having me. This is really fun. I wish you the best. <laughs> Go to the Drew for the full recipe of what Duff and I just did. I'll be doing it with my kids tonight.